still doing uh, the 20 minutes pre-workout cardio, 20 minutes post-workout cardio. So I'm about to do that. And then I got chest and calves today. Yeah, chest and calves. So I'll be doing some incline. And then after that, I'll just kind of chew stuff. I, you know, throw in a few supersets of like a press and a fly movement. And that's just kind of how chest day is going to be going. I got the pre-workout, the rice cake. Down to 216 today. I was 215 yesterday, 216 today. Before that, I was 218. So I think 216 is a more accurate weight than the 215. I think I was just a little dehydrated and that's why I weighed in at 215 yesterday. Didn't drink enough water. But 215, 216, that's down about uh, 16, 17 pounds from the starting weight of 232. So the cut, the cut is cutting, making that progress. Chest day, I'm trying to, I don't know. I don't really feel like working out because yesterday was a leg day. Leg day was pretty hard. Uh, my hip was kind of hurting a little yesterday because sometimes the one hip gives me gives me trouble. And you know, after the bike and just the combination of not having it, like it was going to be an off workout anyway. Like I just didn't have it yesterday. So leg day was pretty hard, but my legs are looking slightly leaner. I would say I can kind of see a little more definition. Typically like my left quad is a little more defined than the right quad, but I think the right quad is getting a little more definition, a little more defined looking. So that's something I've noticed kind of probably due to the bike. I've been doing the cardio for probably like four, four or five days now, I think. So that's helping out, you know, it's giving me some cardio, burning some extra calories. And you know, you're using your legs, so it's helping out with the legs and it kind of helps with the quads a little bit. A lot of people like the bike when they're cutting because it can work the legs just a little and can help with that quad definition. So I think that that's going to be true and I think that that's going to help me out. So yeah, but today's chest day, chest and calves. I'll probably do like a calf super set at the end. I'll probably choose like seated calf raise with body weight with my feet elevated so I can get a full stretch when I do the body weight. Just a nice little superset. Kind of helps with the helps you get a better pump, I think. And it helps look a little bit leaner, I think, when you get that pump going. So supersetting is kind of the way to go on the cut. Get some extra time under tension too and really, you know, work that muscle really hard. You can do that with like drop sets too. If like the superset doesn't add up, like it doesn't work out too well. You could just do drop sets instead. You like go till you can't anymore and then drop it. It's kind of the same thing, but I think it's a uh, beneficial when you're doing like chest day to, to superset. So you can get like the, the press and then the fly hits the chest different. And you know, with other body parts too, like back, some kind of pull over or pull down, superset with a row. Cause it's like the trap and the lat. So you're hitting back, you get a little bit of each but you know the different movement is made to target mostly the other muscle so the supersets they definitely are helpful i uh, don't focus on weight as much you know the weight hasn't been good so the strength hasn't been good but you know picking a weight that i can really feel the muscle with and i can get some decent reps try to go on like a compound movement eight or more and all the other movements should be like 12 plus reps. So that's kind of how I've been training. That's what I've been going for. So I'm gonna finish off the pre and then I'm gonna hit my 20 minutes of cardio while the pre kind of kicks in. And then it should be kicking in when I hit that chest day.
still got a few sets of calves left. I've been super shedding, you know, the seated calf raise, which is standing body weight with my ball of my foot on something like elevated so my heels can get that full stretch, go all the way down. <sighs> I feel like the cut's looking a little bit better, slight improvement from the beginning. The cut is, uh, it's exciting that I'm cutting just cause it's like a different type of challenge. You know, I was bulking and pretty much just eat whatever I wanted and, you know, push my, myself in terms of pushing weight, which is actually fairly easy for the most part. It's not really a challenge. You can either push it or you can't, and you're just trying to push more, you know, every time and, you know, get that PR up. But now with cutting, it's like the weight doesn't even matter. It's more about, you know, just getting a pump, getting some uh, stimulation. It's more about the diet, more about the cardio. It's like 100% just discipline. That's like the whole challenge of it. So that's exciting. Gonna keep progressing and we'll see how, uh, how shredded I can get, but we're almost, almost shredded. I could almost say that I'm shredded, but not quite yet. Maybe in, I don't know, a few more weeks to a month, then I'll definitely probably be shredded. I just gotta keep the discipline, keep the consistency. You know, I'm starting to feel it where I'm kind of tired, not a lot of fuel. You know, this was a shorter workout than normal. I did the incline barbell, then I supersetted the machine uh, with the high to low cable flies. And then I did cable flies on the bench and that was pretty much just it and then calves. So sometimes the workout's gonna be shorter, sometimes less exercises, but I gotta push through it. And as long as I get it done, that's all that matters. So I'm gonna keep getting it done.